This is Miss Callahan with a quick overview of astronomy. Like I said, you're going to have to look in your notes for a little bit more. Please review the different layers of the atmosphere. Um, do not forget about that. You do need to know the different layers of the atmosphere and where, where weather occurs. So if I pull that up real quick, let me see if I can do that real quick. Here's the different layers, um, starting out with your tropo troposphere, which is where we are, and that's also where uh, weather occurs, where planes actually, you know, go through. Then we went into our stratosphere, our mesosphere, and finally our thermosphere. The thermosphere is called thermosphere because thermo is a prefix and it means heat. It does get really, really hot in that uh, layer of our atmosphere. So we talked a little bit about... Um, the gases that were in the atmosphere and the main gas is nitrogen so a lot of you wanted to put uh, that carbon dioxide was a main gas it is a main gas but it's not the it's not the there's nitrogen is the most abundant gas that we have in our atmosphere so a formation of the universe was from the Big Bang Theory what I'm showing you here, though, is the formation of our actual galaxy. So I am going to refer back to the Big Bang Theory. That is how we got our universe. And remember the Big Bang Theory, everything started out as a speck, and then it pretty much exploded. Our universe is constantly expanding. There's a lot of other galaxies out there that we could never get to. Maybe one day we'll actually get to another galaxy, but so far we have not. Um, and then we went into the nebular theory, which is actually how we got our solar system. And it started out with this nebular cloud, and this nebular cloud had gases and rocks. The rocks collided and formed our terrestrial planets, and the gases um, collided and formed our gaseous planets. So with that thought in, in mind, um, our terrestrial planets is the ones that are, in, are known as our inner planets. They include Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. We are made of mostly rock. So here's some pictures of that. And then our outer planets is our gaseous planets, which is Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. We do not consider Pluto as a planet anymore. There's only eight planets, uh, so I know some of you really, really would love to have all nine as seen in this picture here, but um, we do not. They are named after some Greeks, uh, Greek gods that used to, that, you know, people used to believe in. Um, and maybe they still do, I don't know. Please remember that the sun is not, so this picture shows that the sun is in the middle of our galaxy. It is in the middle of our galaxy, but it does move. Do not forget that it does move around. It's not always dead in the center of our galaxy. We talked about Kepler's law of planetary motion and that if you get closer to the sun, you, the planet is going to move faster and the further away from the sun, it is going to move slower. There is a focus point that we actually orbit around that levels out our different uh, gravities and pulls on each other. So a lot of people think that we rotate exactly around the middle of something, but we do not. Um, and then we talked, like I said, this is a quick overview, so you're going to have to actually uh, look in your notes. We talked about revolution, which of course requires us 365.24 days around the sun, and that's how we get our actual year. Our rotation around our axis is how we get our 24 hours, which is our one day, which is counterclockwise. Don't forget that the Earth is on a tilted axis of 23.5 degrees. Um, and due to that, our northern hemisphere and southern hemispheres are a little bit different.
due to that, okay? So in other words, um, it will be in this, like in this picture, summer in one hemisphere and winter in the other. So don't forget to look at that. Don't forget to go over your different um, solaces, solace, solaces and also equinoxes, summer, winter, spring, and fall, and when those actually occur. Here's another picture of that and the different seasons. So the seasons are due to our axis. Do not forget that. We also talked about precession, which is the slow circular movement of our ax actual axis, and that it does this, it's very slow, and it happens every 26,000 years to get that complete circle. Also, uh, no, I think that was a, that's as much as I wanted to go over in this video. Like I said, make sure you look over your notes and get a very good overview.